So, during the EA Play, we got a glimpse of some development footage of Battlefield 6. Now, the only things we've seen were destruction elements of the engine, quantity of player characters, and some facial animations. Which isn't a lot to go by, but we can dissect the footage just a little bit to understand the potential setting of the game to come. To begin with, the destruction elements. It seems that the next battlefield will reintroduce more verticality to the game design, as the tall building being destroyed was a 10 story structure which reminisces Battlefield 4 in my opinion. We can only speculate that the building being destroyed looked like a post-war styled architecture, however it doesn't look like it's a modern Soviet design to me. Let me know down in the comments what era, region or even architecture style you think the building is, as it could help to determine what time period the game could be set in. The next thing is quantity example of player characters. Considering that Battlefield 6 will be brought to the next generation of consoles, I believe that the 64 player limit will be broken, and we may see a significantly higher player servers, such as 128 player game modes, which would be a double amount of the current limit, and potentially a cross-platform option similarly to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This would definitely make the game more chaotic, but actually exploit the new technology available to the audience. In addition, in the footage we see character designs carrying a bolt action rifle, and after searching a bit of images online, I tried to find some comparison of the Viet Cong military uniform. However, with little detail, it's not difficult to make comparisons of the character uniforms to many simplistic uniform designs. Using bolt action rifles could be derived into thinking of a less technologically advanced military, which could lead to the Vietnam War, as the Viet didn't have very sophisticated weaponry and were actually supported by the USSR with military equipment. Lastly, the facial animations simply offer us an early outlook on the design of characters and facial expressions, which in my opinion look better than what we've seen in Battlefield 1 and 5. However, the question is, how much of a real improvement will these offer? As in previous titles, many cinematics and cutscenes have been capped at 1080p, which looked very distorted and stretched on 4K resolutions. However, with the game coming to next-gen consoles, we should be expecting more 4K options where this technology can be utilized. But anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this short analysis of the very early engine footage teased, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and consider subscribing to my channel as I regularly upload weekly cooking and gaming videos with quality content for you, so don't miss out. And now, I'll leave a full segment from the EA Play featuring the Battlefield engine footage, so I hope that you enjoyed it. But for now, I wish you all a good day or night, wherever you may be. Stay safe, till next time. Now, that's a lot to look forward to, but there's more. Here to tell us about the future of gaming is EA's Chief Studio Officer, Laura Miele. Thanks, Greg, and thanks, Lamar. Welcome to the EA Sports family. There are great things to come from EA Sports for all of you, and that's just the beginning. As you've seen throughout the show today, our electronic artists are working hard to bring you more of the games that you want to play. Games like Star Wars Squadrons, Apex Legends, and Command and & Conquer. These games all exist, because of you. Your voices are heard and we are acting on your feedback. Now we've talked a lot about all the exciting games you'll be playing this year, but our studios are working even further out, creating new experiences, new stories, new gameplay, all enabled by new console technology. And we're so excited about what's to come, we don't want to wait until next June to share what the teams are working on. Generation shifts are an opportunity to push beyond the boundaries of gaming as we know it today. And this time is no different. Our studios are taking their crazy ambitious ideas and making them real. Criterion is known for how their games feel. From superior physics to nuanced details of gameplay, this team hand curates the moment to moment experience. And with the new consoles this year, there will be a seamless immersion which will get you into the race in a matter of seconds. BioWare imagines and creates worlds where you become the hero of your own story. And we're using this next generation of technology to make those fantasy worlds your reality. For every console generation, DICE sets the bar for excellence in audio and visual presentation. 
We are creating epic battles at a scale and fidelity unlike anything you've experienced before. At Motive, we are working on a highly ambitious and innovative new game that puts the power and creativity in your hands. And it's an experience that would have been impossible without next-gen technology. This is just the beginning of the things we are working on, and there is so much more to come. The future of EA Studios is not just about new technology. It's about you, your voices, your ideas. We want to be where you come to play. We want to make games for everyone. So please keep giving us your feedback and let's build the future together. On behalf of all of our studios, thank you for joining us today. But before we sign off, there's just one more game we would love to share. Cousin Darren, over to you.